Police believe the gunman who shot dead a Taiwanese tourist and kidnapped his wife in Pom Pom Island, Semporna on Friday had links to terrorist group Abu Sayyaf. Kita percaya ia ada kaitan dengan kumpulan Abu Sayyaf yang mencolek untuk ransom. Tapi sehingga sekarang kita belum ada menerima apa-apa permintaan ataupun desakan. Halid says those gunmen are a band of opportunists that took advantage of the security void left by Filipino border authorities that had been moved to concentrate on the high-end disaster. Halid also doesn't rule out the involvement of locals in the planning of the raid, but says police are investigating if those individuals are Sabahans or Filipinos who slip through the border. He also defends the Eastern Sabah Security Command, or ESCOM. ESCOM are new. Uh, and uh, again, uh, it is a, a wide area to cover. Sempadan uh, lautan kita dengan negara jiran amat luas. Go see for yourself. Uh, well, yeah, 1,400 kilometers in land. Halid also recommends that pump boats be banned from being used in shallow waters in eastern Sabah. Banyak jenayah, banyak perkara berlaku uh, musuh kita mengambil kesempatan menggunakan pambut ini. Mungkin ia akan menetangkan sedikit kesukaran kepada penduduk-penduduk dalam uh, kehidupan harian mereka tetapi there shouldn't be any compromise in security and safety. He says the Malaysian Armed Force have stepped up security over areas in Semporna, Sandakan and Tawau. But we are, we are combing the uh, areas on our side, you know, to ensure that uh, they are not using our our territory to hide the victim. On Friday, a group of gunmen raided Pom Pom Island and Spa Resort Water Villas at about 1 o'clock in the morning. The gunmen shot and killed Shu Li Min and abducted Chang An Wei and fled toward Pulau Mataking close to southern Philippines.